This is what my day is consisting of. A bunch of recording, a bunch of chaos in the background, a lot of music and caffeine to continue to keep this momentum. Because I literally did no work this weekend. And I feel like I deserved it, but I also am kind of stressing out right now because now I have to do it all. Everything that I was supposed to do this weekend, I have to get done today. Tuesday, right? I saw this tweet once about how Tuesdays are kind of like the most pointless days of the week. And now I can never like get that out of my head. Every single time Tuesday comes around, I'm like, I'm happy to see you. But also, you're clearly not the fan favorite. I feel like Wednesdays mean a little bit more to me than Tuesdays. But Tuesdays are like, Wednesdays are like equally almost equally as like boring i feel like i have my most chaotic days on mondays thursdays fridays saturdays and sundays and when i say chaotic i mean like i don't mean chaotic all the time i mostly mean like action-packed and like doing stuff but tuesdays and wednesdays is just i don't know kind of boring kind of laid back but I'm not complaining about it we all need those days I'm about to go walk Cairo for a little bit I think they're filming something outside because there's a bunch of like camera crew men and just police monitoring out there and so that's gonna give me a little bit of anxiety but we're gonna go out there we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of a morning walk-in um and then i have a pilates not pilates i have a p evolve class scheduled for um 9 30. recommend it especially if you're looking for a workout that's fun but also challenging right now I'm taking a break from weight training um, and just like solely focusing on workout classes and I always find myself going back to p-ball just because of how fun it is and how just like it's really girly too I can't really describe it but I I've, I got some clips in the class it's all about flexibility and uh, mobility and strengthening your core and all of that is something that I'm really focused on right now as far as my fitness routine goes so p bomb is really where it's at I still like Pilates I haven't done Pilates in a while but right now I'm gonna open up some packages that I ordered I ordered some stuff from Amazon some of this stuff came in earlier um, but these two things I actually don't know what this one is this is a pretty big box so I got this posture corrector because I'm working on my posture. This is supposed to be a really good thing that you can just put on and it kind of braces you and forces you to sit up straight. So I'm going to give this a try.
this giant box for these two items more headbands i got some thick ones because the ones i have are very thin i need something that's like really stretchy and thick i love wearing headbands especially in the fall and winter time so it came with all of these really cute colors two grays a light gray and a dark gray got a black a tan a brown and this like olive green and this is going to be something that's going to help me with staying on top of things this fall i got an acrylic um board to put on my refrigerator so that i can write like any appointments or to-do list anything that i have to get done throughout the day or throughout the week like a grocery list i can write it all here and have it very visible so i have no more excuses as to why i can't get things done got from amazon that i've been absolutely obsessed with is this pregnancy pillow and no before you even think it i am not pregnant but i do have the back of an 89 year old so you gotta do what you gotta do you know a difference already I've also been using whitening strips um, and those have like done wonders as well I'm about to wrap up my work day sometimes I'll just like scroll on social media on TikTok and Instagram to find like inspo um, I have a ton of clips especially on my work phone that I just like have not edited yet so I also need to go through those and see if I can use any of that content to repurpose so i think i'm gonna go outside for a little bit on my balcony to get out and get some fresh air while i'm working i also wanted to mention because i haven't mentioned this on youtube yet so i'm working with a travel agency we're collaborating on a trip to bali next summer may 20th through the 26th i will be in bali and i'm bringing some girls along with me on this trip and so i'm really excited everything is included i'll list all the things that we'll, we'll be doing um <clears throat> i'll list it here i also will put a link in the description so you guys can click on it and um all of the like the q a's and the information and the timeline all of that the pricing all of that is going to be through that link so if you have any questions feel free to message me on instagram i'll be talking about this so much more probably from now until may of next year so this is not going to be the last time you hear from me i really want to make this trip as big as possible right now we have eight girls and i actually just made 
a group chat and so we're getting to know each other and I'm really excited just to form a bond with these girls because we do have a long time before the actual trip and so I'm just like really looking forward to getting to know everyone and everyone getting to know me on a personal level this is the group chat we have fun in here so this is something that sparks your interest if you've never been to bali if you don't want to go by yourself if you want to go with other like-minded girls if you want the best discount for a bali trip ever with the itinerary literally included then make sure to get all of that info on my instagram and also in the description This is me on a daily basis. This is how I can get my work done every single day. The only way I can get my work done is to listen to music and to dance to music and to just like vibe to music as I'm working. I mean, I could listen to a podcast, but I would prefer to listen to music, especially if I'm like locked in with work. Um, but it doesn't matter what kind of music, like sometimes I'm feeling R&B, sometimes I'm feeling instrumental music um like lo-fi it doesn't really matter sometimes i do country every now and then you know a little morgan wall and sprinkle sprinkle shamefully it's one o'clock and i'm just now sitting down and starting my work day now i will say it hasn't been like an unproductive morning me and cairo we went on a two mile walk this morning much needed um and just a great way to start the day so that took up majority of my morning i did wake up on time i'm really trying to track my sleep with my aura ring now so i've been trying to wake up on time a lot more and i've been doing a pretty good job as far as like that goes as well as morning routines slash daily routines i'm actually going to do a video on like solidifying that a little bit more for fall because this is my favorite time of the year to just like get back into routine and stick to it and just be the most disciplined version of myself i feel like this this time of year is like perfect for that yeah and now we're here and i'm actually going to show you the process that i take whenever i am filming videos for UGC. UGC is basically me creating content for a brand or an agency on behalf of them. So they are able to use the content that I create for them. Um, they can just post it organically on their Instagram page, on their website, whatever. Basically all rights go to them. I have a concept to film today I actually have two but basically that one is just like a script where i'm talking to the camera just like i'm doing right now and those are usually the hardest ones for me because talking to a camera is hard i've been doing it for so long and it is still a struggle especially when i'm doing short form videos or videos for ugc i don't know i just feel like i have to be perfect i feel like i can't stutter i feel like i can't like have a crack in my voice. I constantly like overanalyze the clips. Luckily though, when it comes to YouTube, yes, I cringe sometimes, but I feel like I can let the conversation flow a little bit more because it's just like authentic and it's not me just reading a script. So that's good. That's why I love YouTube. I'm gonna show you guys what the script looks like. They don't always look like this. 
some of them are a lot less detailed this right here is what the script looks like i'm a nursing student in this holiday season i'm volunteering to make cute gift bags for patients who can't leave the hospital to be with their loved ones as soon as i press record that's when i start stuttering and stuff i'm fine before i press record it's like my brain doesn't want to see me like at peace ever it's okay though we're gonna get it done today and action back to patient I'm, an, I'm a nursing student in this holiday season i'm making cute gift bags for patients who can't leave the hospital to be with their loved ones oh that was so bad nice i'm gonna do the rest off camera goodbye i'm a nursing student in this holiday season i'm making cute gift bags for patients who can't leave the hospital to be with their loved ones these bags are simple yet so sweet um also kind of having a high u.s audience but recently we've kind of been leading a lot of the I spent three hours today rearranging my entire bedroom. I decided to move my vanity over here because of the lighting situation. This big window, it's beautiful. And at first I didn't want anything to like be in front of them, but it makes the most sense in my head to have the vanity facing this way so that the light will come this way. I'm not completely done with the room, but for that little area, I'm gonna make like a, my seating area, which was originally over here. And I can film like cute little YouTube videos on that wall. I wanted to talk about this whole winter arc challenge that's going on on TikTok that I'm like literally obsessed with. I'm sold, like I am motivated. I see all the girlies like doing their thing, going to the gym, eating right, taking their supplements, doing their good skincare, journaling. The same stuff that I'm like trying to work on myself, but I think it'd just be so much cooler to join the challenge and i'm not sure if i'm gonna start documenting it on youtube i probably will but i definitely am gonna be documenting it on tiktok so this morning i came up with a few things that i want for my winter art things that i'm focused on and things that i want to get done for these three months basically if you don't know what winter arc is i'll put the actual definition from pinterest on the screen but i'm gonna read you my definition of it so winter arc for me is to stay motivated and disciplined so that i can feel amazing productive and the best version of myself so i'm doing all the things i'm gonna try really really hard that's why i'm gonna document it on tiktok because i feel like it's gonna hold me accountable um but i'm gonna try really really hard to stay consistent but i wanted to read you a few of my um habits and things that i'm trying to pick up and things that i'm trying to do more of and i divided them by morning daily slash general habits nighttime habits and work slash hobbies so i'm gonna start with the morning habits and i'm also gonna start doing my makeup because i can do two things at once I can't do two things at once. Up by 8 a.m. That's been something that I've done a pretty good job at these past two weeks. I will lay in bed until like 8.30, sometimes 9. And that's the biggest problem for me. So during this winter art challenge, when I say get up at 8 a.m., I mean get up at 8 a.m. Like head to the bathroom, sis. Start your day which is actually number two on my list. No phone until 9 a.m. I've been somewhat doing that. I will check my phone just to make sure I don't have like any important text messages from family or friends. But other than that, like I'm not scrolling on TikTok. I'm not scrolling on, well, sometimes I scroll on TikTok, but I definitely don't scroll on Instagram. However, I do want to make it my mission that I literally don't touch my phone until 9 a.m that's the overall goal except for a podcast because i have to listen to a podcast on my walk so honestly never mind on that but no like checking notifications that's what i mean journaling and prayer every single morning outside slash meditation as well i've been trying to be more intentional with my prayer time um and i find that in the morning and before bed are usually the best times for me to just really lock in and just express myself and uh, and just have a casual conversation with God and with myself as well. I include prayer with my journaling. 
So I'll do a five minute journal prompt. Um, and then I will read a passage from my Bible and then have some intentional prayer time. Really gets my day started off on the right foot. The next one is daily movement. I have to do some type of movement every single day. Taking my supplements daily. I take a lot of supplements y'all. I take magnesium at nighttime and then in the morning I'll take ashwagandha, L-theamine. I'll take like a normal multivitamin for women and I'll take some for um, just overall gut health. Another thing I've been doing with my supplements is I've been drinking green juice every single morning disgusting but so worth it and the last one for morning habits water before coffee always and honestly i'm trying to swap out coffee all together with matcha so in that case water before matcha i'm not going to list all of my daily habits because there's a lot two of these cups of water a day <clears throat> is going to be my goal every single day to aim keyword aim for eight to 10K steps a day. I'm gonna have to pull out that um, walking treadmill and get to step in. Skincare, skincare is huge. I like to romanticize my skincare in the morning and nighttime, especially at nighttime. Four to five home cooked meals per week. This year, I've really been slacking when it comes to cooking and eating home cooked meals. And I really do hate that because I used to love to cook and I still do but I just be so drained at the end of the day and I just be like bro I'll just order uber eats like it's really not worth it and also another thing too it's just so hard for me to grocery shop for just me without wasting so much food those are my excuses <laughs> but there's gonna be no more excuses we're gonna get our weekly grocery list planned we're gonna get our favorite meals in rotation. The next one I have on here is no alcohol, Monday through Thursday. And to be honest, I don't really drink much anyways anymore. I have my wine, but other than that, like I only drink whenever I go out to like dinner or like to a bar with friends. And that hasn't been often lately. It really hasn't. I've been staying in the house. Um, Sunday resets. I'd be lost without my weekly resets. The last one I'm going to share is monthly solo dates. I've been wanting to do solo dates a lot more often. I deserve to take myself out monthly, maybe more, but at least once a month, whether that be brunch or a nice dinner or just go to the bar and get a drink. Moving on to nighttime habits. In bed by 9 p.m. so that I can get my nine hours of sleep because i need nine hours of sleep honestly more i feel like more than nine hours is unhealthy so we'll stick to nine phone away by 9 30. i'm allowing myself to scroll on tiktok for 30 minutes i gotta be in bed but i can scroll on tiktok for 30 minutes and then once those 30 minutes are over it's time to put the phone away put the phone outside of the room grab my kindle and read a book because reading is truly fundamental and then i said be sleep be asleep by 10 30. i'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room 10 30 11 but we're aiming for 10 30. the last category is work slash hobbies focus on one hobby that's not monetized and i think for me that's going to be singing lessons so i need to get my voice back right and i want to get my voice back right and i think that this fall is the perfect time to fuck to lock in and focus on something like that and just have fun with it like i don't want to monetize it i don't want to not trying to become the next beyonce but i do want to improve that in some way and really make a hobby that i truly enjoy out of it it's one youtube video per week i've been doing really good with that hopefully I'll have the bandwidth soon to do two videos per week, but for now we're just sticking to one. Um, stay organized and focused, learn one new topic, and the topic that I'm choosing is finances. I really need to be an adult and start saving and studying stocks and bonds and whatever. Like I'm going to have to really lock in and 
and do the damn thing because I'm trying to be a billionaire. And I can't be a billionaire if I don't know how to save money. And the last one, I literally just added this one, the working outside of my apartment at least one day a week. That's been something that I've been wanting to do for so long. But then when the time comes, I'm just like, dang, I'm really cozy on this couch or I'm really cozy in this desk chair. Like, I think I'm just gonna stay. And it's also just such a hassle to like carry things and whatever but i really do need to start getting out the house more and that's one way that i'm gonna do it and i also too think that it it increase, increases my productivity a lot because it gives me a new change of scenery and i don't know it's just something about working in a cafe that's just like mysterious and cool you know mysterious and cool i can't believe i'm still doing my makeup oh my goodness it really don't take this long ever I told y'all I couldn't do two things at once, but I don't know. I think I, I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm almost done, though. I just need to do my lip. And I'll probably put some mascara on because my lashes are looking crazy. I have like three lashes still on. Yeah, I need a lash refill and I'm getting one tomorrow, so don't you worry. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lash Mascara. Add a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. I'm done. If you guys want to adopt any of those habits feel free to do so feel free to do all of them because i would love for you all to join this winter arc journey because i really feel like it's going to be a movement like it's the next movement you know like the hot girl summer movement like the clean girl movement this is movement for productivity and that's the kind of movement that i need um and i think the more people that i see and that i like talk to about it the more motivated I stay so yeah if you guys want to join the winter challenge winter arc challenge you literally ha have to do nothing except write your habits and just stick to them um you can document them if you want but if not just lock in go ghost for a couple of months and glow the hell up happy friday this is the full look by the way just my everyday makeup look